Lebanon, a country once known for its vibrant culture, now faces an unprecedented crisis. Since September 2023, violence, economic turmoil and widespread displacement have gripped the nation. Today we're delving into the heart of this crisis. What led to it, its impact on millions and what the world can do. In a single week, over 900,000 people fled their homes, adding to the millions already displaced. This is a nation where 20% of the population now lives in uncertainty. The trauma of frequent blasts and threats has made life a nightmare for many. People are living in constant fear. Every explosion shakes the ground and hearts of everyone nearby. Lebanon has long opened its doors to refugees, with 1.5 million Syrians seeking safety here. But now, even they face tough choices. Many have no access to shelters or protection, leaving them exposed to the worsening conditions. Some, in desperation, are even fleeing back to Syria. Beyond conflict, Lebanon faces one of the worst economic crises of the century. Triple-digit inflation, a 98% currency devaluation and extreme poverty have transformed daily life. Nearly half the population lives below the poverty line, and in some rural areas, poverty rates reach a staggering 70%. With each crisis, the strain on Lebanon's resources grows. The UN's humanitarian aid appeal was underfunded even before this recent escalation. More funding is urgently needed for shelter, hygiene and emergency cash for basic needs. We need urgent funding for safe shelters and essential supplies like soap, diapers, blankets. Every dollar helps provide dignity and hope. Organizations like Concern, with a decade of experience in Lebanon, are working with UNHCR and the Red Cross to rehabilitate shelters, deliver cash aid and provide psychological first aid to children traumatized by conflict. It's a race against time to save lives and restore dignity. Lebanon's story is one of resilience, but it needs the world's support. Without it, millions will face a future of hardship. Join us in spreading awareness and rallying for Lebanon's recovery. We're all connected, and together we can make a difference.